How's it going, Pumpkinheads? My name is Skellington Steve, and welcome back to Hubris. So this is actually kind of a re-recording uh, because of the fact that uh, I tried to record this last night, and uh, when I went to edit it, I made a few changes in my uh, recorder, and my audio was a little bit weird. Um, so I undid some of the changes I did. I made to it, at least in the aspect of the audio. So I'm hoping that this is a little bit better. Um, but the last session I recorded, I didn't really do much, mainly due to the fact that, you know, it's kind of just me. I, I usually don't tend to really do much when I set out to do something new. And when I say something new, uh, I decided that I wanted to get into witchery. And the reason behind that is I think I might be able to use witchery to kind of help push back the taint. Now, the reasoning behind that is because there is a circle magic rite that will allow a witch to change the, uh, change the nearby biome. And I think that you know what i just kind of want to see if this will work real quick um i'm going to teleport to the village real quick okay let's see okay good all right so it will work sorry i'll let you know what i looked at here in a second so um the the circle right will allow you to change uh, what biome you are currently standing in. So if I were to go to the village and perform that rite, then I would be able to transform that village into a different, it'll, it'd be a village in a different biome. Now, the reason I needed to check and see if that worked is because the taint everywhere here is actually its own biome. It's called a tainted lands biome. And I had to make sure that the village was legitimately classified under being in a tainted lands biome, which means that the biome shift will actually work. So, uh, with this book here, the book of biomes that I think I picked up while I was roaming around that village, I will be able to uh, understand what focus I would need to toss into the toss into the middle for the right of shifting seasons in order to make the biome shift. So, I could change the I could change it into a forest, but I'm afraid that if I do that that it'll cause trees to sprout up in the middle of the village and cause it to get cause it to destroy some of the houses and also make kind of a kind of a headache for me cleaning stuff up like that. Uh, the second thing I could do is I could turn it into a plains. Now the plains could be could be a good option. I could change it into a regular plains, or I'm probably going to change it into a twilight forest clearing. I think that could be that could be interesting. I could also change it into a mountain, a hills, a swamp, a jungle, a wasteland a beach, a mushroom biome, a magical biome. And see, I would change it into a magical forest biome because that's the kind of uh, biome generation that's given off by the silverwood trees when they have an aura in them. But again, magical forest could also sprout trees that could give me a big headache. But those are some of the options that I have. The only problem is I need to get further into witchery in order to do that. So the last recording session I did, I tried to get started with witchery. Uh, so I went ahead and cleared out this whole area up here, as you can see. And I started, I'm going to start placing the witchery uh, items up here. Now. The first thing I started off with was the witch's oven. With this, you can melt down different aspects of the world, uh, mainly nature, 
into different um, different fumes uh, that you can capture with these clay jars. Now, I also needed to get started with the witchery trees, and you can see I have them over there. And I went ahead and planted a couple and got these. So we have a mandrake, or not the mandrake, we have the alder sapling, a rowan sapling, and a hawthorn sapling. So we have the different types of witchery trees already over there. Those will help us get some of the uh, other fumes that we need to collect from the witch's oven. Now, there are a couple of other things that I needed to do in terms of witchery, and one of them was... Oh, I need to make more books for one. But one of the other things I need to do is I need to make an Arthana. It's a witchery knife. With this, I will be able to kill mobs with it, like uh, creepers or zombies and skeletons, and I'll get a special witchery drop from them. If I kill a creeper with it, I will get a creeper heart. If I kill zombies or skeletons with it, I will get a uh, I will get I have a chance to drop spectral dust, which is needed for um, helping me further some different things that I need. Uh, give me one second here. Sorry about that. I'm kind of I'm slowly but surely. I think I'm starting to come down with a cold. So I got a, I got my Deadpool cup here full of tea to kind of help make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, but also with the Arthana, what I can do is uh, if I kill a witch with it, I can get her hand. Now the witch's hand is a very powerful witchery tool because it takes the place of a thing called a I think it takes the place of a of a mystical branch because you can use it to make witchery gestures instead of the branch and the witchery gestures are just basically if you've ever seen Harry Potter that's what they are I think I have a symbology book let me see I do not but yeah this, with the symbology book it shows you the different things that you can do by waving the stick in the air and you can basically cast Harry Potter spells. And uh, once I get that far, I will show you guys. But the main roadblock that I ran into uh, last night while I was trying to do this was the fact that I need, I need iron. I need a lot of iron. So what I'm probably going to do I have my Arthana what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna take a little trip I'm gonna go on a little trip we are going to finally go to the Twilight Forest there we can find some stuff some more dungeons and more things that might be a little bit more manageable than they are around here but the first thing we got to do is we got to clear out our inventory man because we got a lot of stuff uh, I'm gonna hold on to this uh, I ended up making this last night and it's actually pretty helpful it's the wispy dream catcher what it does is it keeps the taint out of my mind so that way, you know, I don't end up going on a freak out like I did that last time. Also, when I'm in tainty biomes, it lessens the damage that I take from them. So I don't take I don't take as much damage from walking around in the taint. So, uh, let's see here. Any other stuff that I can throw into no okay all right so let's go throw this stuff in the mundane chest then so axe leather boots cobblestone wool lever coal 
Iron ingot. Diamond. Feather. Diorite. Glass bottle. Bucket. Nugget. Ender pearl. And actually, I found out that the gem cutter's tools are... Okay, hold on. I gotta show you guys something before we do anything. Before we go anywhere, I gotta show you guys this. I found out what the gem cutter's tools were for. Oh, yeah, I also need to show you this, too. Uh, so, the night before I went to record, um, I kind of went on a research spree. I went and filled up my entire chest pretty much full of research and did a bit of it off camera and I ended up finding out what the gem cutters tools were used for the gem cutters tools are here in witching gadgets and they are used to make of course gems now the gems are uh, basically they're cut diamonds emeralds or amber and I think there may be another gem to cut I don't know but what you do with the gems is you put them here in this table I'm gonna take the lapis out of there because it's not really worth anything and you cut you cut the gem you turn it into either a point cut gem or an oval cut gem and depending on the type of gem that you make depends on the type of effect that it has now the only way that you can imbue the gem with magic is by using primal aspects either from a vis a vial of essentia or mist ethereal essence and depending on the type of essence you use generate the gem will generate a certain effect um, I went ahead and made one it was this one here infused gem of Terra and what that does is when you right click a block it kind of it kind of sort of directs you to an area where ore will be it's not exactly the best the best solution or the best way to go about it but i mean if you're really in a pinch and you need to figure out where some ore is it's not a bad way to go uh, so let's see okay good I want to make sure I have a bed actually if I'm gonna go exploring also made these I'm gonna go ahead and toss my um, my thomic gear in here except for the goggles I kind of need the goggles in fact mmm Mm. Hold on a second. Okay. Where is that at? It's in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, could I make that five 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 five? It's the lack of air in this one. All right, uh, I'm gonna go do a thing real quick. I need to go charge this thomium and or the obsidian wand with air essence because I need. I'm going to I'm going to make a helmet out of my goggles that will basically make them a little bit stronger and will allow me to use them while I'm exploring the world and have them be worth more armor than what they are. So there's some air. Normally I reserve this stuff for my staff, but in this case I'll make an exception. So I think I should have an, more than enough. It only needed five. So let's go up here and let's make this thing real quick. All I need to do is make a thomium helmet. I think I have enough thomium to do that. I speak too soon, of course. 
No worries, I can always make Thaumium, correct? All I need is iron and essence of precantatio, and all I need is one piece of uh oh, come on. I just need one thing that's essence of precantatio. There's gotta be something I have. Not the sword. I don't even know why I have that anymore. I don't need it. How much precantatio do I need? Four. You'll do. Uh, you know what? Just to save myself the headache of having to put the stuff in a separate jar and end up, oh, just to save myself the headache of losing a jar, uh, I'm going to go ahead and melt this down into eight so I can put it in a file. So, two, three, four. There we go. And then file. There we go. So I don't want to lose that jar. All right. Now, oh, I have a warded jar in here that needs to go back. Now I need an iron ingot. I think I have two. So I might as well make, yeah, okay. There we go. I can make two. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I think this should be full still. Good, yes. All right, so toss, 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 done. Nothing else in there. And we have thaumium ingots. So now we just go helmet, done. And we'll take the goggles out of there. Hopefully, I don't need to make more goggles because I've enchanted these. If I do, then crap. But let's find out. So throw the Thaumium embossed wand up there. Goggles. Helmet. Oh good, it still works. Helmet of revealing. Grab. Alright, and it gives me a 5% Vs discount. Oh, so did the so did the goggles. That's a little weird looking, not gonna lie. But hey, it gives me a little bit more protection. Woo! Alright, so let's see. Do I have any helpful books that I can put on this thing? Unbreaking, Respiration, Projectile Protection, Efficiency, Feather Falling. Uh, you know what? It would probably be worth it to make that arcane, the, uh, not the arcane enchanter. It's the Thaumic enchanter, which is in tinkering this here the osmotic enchanter but not right now because holy crap that is that is some stuff man uh we can do that later so let's go ahead and put our armor back on diamond chest plate pants where are my boots did I not have boots should have had boots. there they are there's my boots all right click 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 I look so weird with this stuff on now especially with the face mask the face mask is what's weirding me out all right so we'll throw the bruise in here uh, we don't need this piece of lapis, so we'll throw that back in here. We got my staff, gem cutters tools, Arthana needs to go in the witchery box. 
Um, I need my thermometer. I need my quest book. Put the focus pouch up here. Thermometer. Should probably grab that thaumium sword just so that way I have it. That way I have a weapon with me, not just my staff. Okay. Uh, thaumium nuggets, thaumium ingot, my thaumaturgist robes. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? I need the Wispy Dreamcatcher. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this in here. Uh, we'll throw the Gem Cutter's tools in here. And the last thing I need to make sure I pick up is food. I also need to re-equip my baubles. Ring of Protection, Iron Skin. There we go. Do I have any other helpful rings on me? Not the crappy these these things. Anything else but these things? Nope. Okay. So down we go. Alright, so let's pick up some food. Uh, we'll take some golden apples. We'll take some chicken. We'll take some bread. And I think we'll be all right. So let's have a sleep. I remember you can use, you can pull out the bedroll on the backpack and use it to sleep, but I don't remember how to do that. I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure you can. Actually, let me look real quick while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, okay, it's not, not working. So this takes the backpack off. Oh well. All right. Let's go. I'm sure we'll find more helpful nodes while we're there. Here we go. Hopefully this place isn't as tainted as the rest of the world. So we're surrounded by rams. Okay. Huh. <clears throat> wow. I don't know what the heck that was. So this place isn't really tainted at all. Looks like the taint can't seep through portals. It's pretty helpful actually. Let me go ahead and make a new waypoint. Portal home. Heck, I could probably just live here. 